Greetings from Team Rex team. Today we will talk about combining content from different skins in Query theme. Query has lots of different demos of any kind of modern business. You can sort skins by category, blog, business, creative, health, service. Also, you can filter them by functionality, online booking, donations, events, e-commerce, etc. You can also see the functionality pages on the skins. One of the most functional and biggest skins is the default one. It has lots of pre-made pages, elements and plugins. But if you want to use some other skin, let's say Freelancer, it has less demo content, pre-made pages and plugins. So you may want to use something from other skins. I'll show you how to use styles, plugins, pages and separate sections from other skins. I've just installed the query theme on my website. In the second stage, we can enable or disable add-ons. In the third stage, we need to choose the donor skin from which we will copy some elements. I will use the default one. In the next stage, we need to choose plugins to be installed. I will install all the plugins that the skin requires. Next, we have a demo data import. Partial import allows us to choose what exactly we want to import. We can import the data from plugins, theme options, and choose demo pages we need for future use. I'll just go with the full import since I currently have an empty website. Please do not refresh the page until the import is fully completed. It may take some time though. Good, the import is done. I will skip the quick setup wizard for now. Let's go to our main page. Okay, it looks exactly like we saw on the demo. This skin has two important plugins that I want to use, Booking Calendar and Events Management. Booking Calendar allows your customers to book online appointments with you, while the Events Manager helps to create paid and free events. Also, I want to use this section on my future website. I will save it in my Elementor templates. On your top bar, click Edit with Elementor. Then scroll down to this section, right-click on it, and then save as a template. Give it a name, let's say Split Block, and then click Save. Okay, it's now in our template library, and we can use it in our pages or skins. Now let's return to our dashboard, and then go to our theme panel. Then go to the Skins tab to activate a Freelancer skin. In the search field, simply type in Freelancer, click on the Download button and then again find it and click Activate. Ok, now we have a Freelancer skin active. If we go to our main page, we will notice that we will still have the same page content but now it will display the different typography and color scheme. That's a freelancer skin. And it still looks nice. Now I'll return to the dashboard and try to import the new home page from the new skin. In the partial import, choose Home and then click Start Import. Now I want to make it as my front page. Go to Settings, Reading, and choose a new home page there. Then click Save the Changes. Now, if I refresh my website, I will have a brand new home page from Freelancer Skin. I'm just missing header, main slider, and footer. But that's easy to fix. On the top bar, click Edit Page. In the Header tab, choose Freelancer Header. And in the Footer tab, Choose any footer you want. I'll keep the default one and then update. And the last thing is the main slider. 
go to the theme panel, theme dashboard, demo data, partial import, and choose import revolution sliders. Then click on the start import button. Okay, good. Now let's go to our website and see what we got. Great, our header, slider, page content, and footer are here. Also, we have a booking calendar and events management here as well. As we can see, they didn't break and look nice. And now let's import that section that we previously saved in our Elementor templates. Click Edit with Elementor on your top bar. I will paste it right after the main slider. Click on the plus icon and then on the folder. Go to My Templates and click Insert our split block template. Ok, the template from the default skin was inserted successfully. Click on the Update button and then again open our main page. Good job! Everything looks nice and smooth. We've learned how to switch between skins and how to transfer styles, pages, plugins and even separate sections between different query skins. Hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe for more useful tutorials. See you soon!